was actually watching the latest episode of Dark Havoc in Kyoko. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, mate. I enjoyed that episode. Very happy with the outcome. Yes, yes, very sad. I know. Truly. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, our dupes are busy doing a million other things, and uh, unfortunately, no force. Yeah, force is always there. Good morning. The balloon's grieving the loss of a friend. Plus twenty percent stress per cycle. But you're also receiving a massage, so minus 30%. Also, you had a nice chair as well. There you go. The force of stress is starting to drop. But it's also going back up again pretty quickly. Got many things to do, peeps. There we are. Getting there. How much more copper we got to do? None. Fantastic. I could... Make some steel, perhaps. I don't know. Right, okay, we we have buried. No, it's uh, still full. Hmm. Where's Bela? Uh, where's Alacramps? Who has stolen Alacramps? Alacramps down here. Did someone drop them while they were climbing up the ladder? No. Someone Alacramps. Serious? Oh, there we go. Poof. Oh, sore friend. Uh, okay, well, the morning is gone, so. Crack on now, peeps. Let's get back to work. Okay, starting to get the soup docks up and running. I'm very happy with this. Once we have the suit docks set up, and people using them properly, at that point... Uh, oh, 120 there. How much power is... Oh, too much power. Uh, yeah, we'll have another transformer down here. Okay, if we pop, up, pop it there... Should do. Oops, so there is he. That isn't quite what I was trying to accomplish. There we go. Let's uh, swap that around. Connect. Right, let's take this. Oh no. That'll work. There we are. Well, I should get us up where we need to be. Now you'll notice. I'm putting oxygen into the suit above putting it into the base. That is by intention. Hey, you are to zero. So, are we saying it's because Belial came back that someone died? Uh, 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 no. No. We're saying it's because the derp was derpy, but the derp derp the last derp. Derp. You know what? I could pump all of this uh, gas out in here, I suppose. Just let it filter through, but... Uh, that would overpressurize this area fairly quickly, I imagine. That being said, it's starting to overpressurize down here anyway, so... Uh, well, I guess part of that is because it's dumping oxygen in there, so that's not so bad. Hey, Akasa, how are you doing, sweetheart? How is your stream?
<laughs> you brought the night owls. Yes, you did. It is 2 a.m., so it's 3 a.m. for you. Wow. All right, let's have a look. Uh, more bomb release seeds. Sure, we'll take those. I do actually need a new dupe, but... Uh, what dupe to do? Ooh, what was Alacrump's doing? <laughs> let's go back to skills. What are we missing? Got science. <gasps> Oh no! We lost a hard digger! Ah! That is not good! That is really not good. You made a super pretty house. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. Was your computer doing okay? Casa, for those who aren't away, has recently upgraded her PC. And will now hopefully be able to play all the games as she was denied for so long. Right. All of this is getting there. We are almost hooked up properly. Okay, so the next time we have the possibility of get, get, getting a dupe, we need to, if they have any kind of digging ability. But I don't like Belial. Alacramps will be missed. Bye bye, you hero. You digged your last. Derpily, but at least you were doing a job. <laughs> Man, if only it were that simple. Alas. Right, let's get this up and running. Uh, I require suits to be delivered. Actually, I should have had these delivered already. Yikes, because we're about to uh, lock people from not being able to get out of the the colony without the suit. So, and I think all the suits are down there. Ah! Hurry! Hurry! Don't go in, because you can't come back out! Ah, oh, poop. Is everyone inside? Ah, oh, double poop! Okay, disable building. Yoink. There we go. Okay, enable building again. Yoink. There we are. Hooray! Someone's going out in a suit that would have saved the last suit from dying horribly due to massive amounts of CO2. It works super well. No red bars, no fan panic, all smooth. High graphic settings too. Everything so sparkly shiny. Oh, I know how much you've been, you've been waiting for that. I'm so happy it's working out for you, Susan. Right. Okay. Well, I imagine our consumable ore is yikes. Eleven point three. That is not good. Shield. How do we want to run this? Now, a simple way of doing it is simply hook into this area and just pull everything out. If it is a natural gas, dump it, and that's all you need to do. And just keep this natural shape and then slowly over time from the inside out replace it with a, a more convenient smaller cage around the uh, the gas vent i think that's probably the way we're gonna roll with this one the gas on its way out will need to pass through a couple I'm going to say, let's have a, a stack of... Uh oh. Let's cancel that, because I'm not sure what I was building them out of. Uh, a stack of gas reservoirs. So that I've got a, a nice amount of it just uh, sat there for, you know, a rainy day. 
Well, that should be plenty for now. Then somewhere down here, like here perhaps, we'll build across and we'll have our natural gas generators. That'll do. Oh, I'm sorry that there's some buffering going on in chat. Unfortunately, it's been happening relatively uh, often, to be honest, and uh, I'm not sure what I can do about it. I, as I've been saying, it's probably just down to Twitch being used a lot more. With everything going on, people are looking for just ways to spend their time a bit and uh, dial back on, on everything else that's going on. Understandable, but highly frustrating, I know. Uh, right, so for power, we're going to want natural gas generators. Converts natural gas into electrical power, produces carbon dioxide and polluted water. So, we're going to want this above... Now, how much can that grab? You know what, we'll just set up one for now. How, how many of these can I have and how much do they produce? 800 watts, it's not, not a terribly small amount, to be fair. Um, actually, let's cancel that from there. I'm going to want something like that, I'm going to say. Something like this. Uh, have a little way down, a little way all the way up. There we go. And we need to completely empty out this area. I want one to fuel. And then over here. Oop. Stop making it out of aluminium, you scoundrel. Uh, actually, let's only put this where I'm going to have a power plant. Saves me a bit of trying. So something like that will do. I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to be building. So now, we'll just assume the one. And then over time we'll replace this. There we are. Now these should not be a high priority. These should realistically only be fives. This stuff down here can be a six though, because I want that one done fast. We will have the power spine just moving straight up the top and connecting up here. Uh, I will almost certainly have these running on... Hmm, on that point. Uh, almost certainly want these running on a smart battery. Uh, so I'm probably going to want to drag that out a little bit more. Because I'm going to want the smart battery around here. Have the smart battery right there. And then that can connect up to... everything we need. There we go. We may hook up more of these in sequence. We'll see. Now, I believe that requires an output of... Right, so input, natural gas, which is good because it's on the same level. Output, CO2. So probably something like this. I could pump it down or I could just pump it out. But this may get um, overwhelmed at the time. The way we're going to connect all of these up. It's just going to be in sequence, which means the, the, the top one will empty, empty first. That will also happen to be the one that will fill first. So the all of the others are basically going to be there as uh, as overflow. And I'm fine with that. This will be a fairly large um, area for this water to be gathered in. But again, that's actually fine by me. Um, I may even push this further back. I don't know. But we'll, we'll 
almost certainly not have use for a huge array of these. Not off one vent, anyway. Uh, we won't know exactly how much that vent can support until we get in there and have a look. But... Am I close enough to the surface that I could just space this extra CO2? I probably am. But ultimately, I'm probably going to want to feed Slickster, so I'm not going to uh, make it a priority to get rid of it yet. Idle peeps. They can't get out because all of the suits are gone. Rip. Uh, so that means we need to do a little bit more. I would like not to have many idle dupes, if I can avoid it. Six should be good. I have no idea where that cable just went, because the game is weird. Could we get those done? It's a rather high priority. Then we'll strip these down. We're also going to need to run this across a little bit further. Now, the suits are always given a, a big priority over everything else. Now, if I balanced the, uh, the uh, schedules a little bit better, you'd probably be uh, in, a, in a slightly better position. Generally speaking, there's always three uh, three people or and eventually there'll always be four people sleeping. So that's the time. Uh, so we don't strictly need 12 suits. I would say probably eight is enough. Do I need O2 being released outside now? Uh, well, the O2 doesn't get released outside unless it's backstuffing in here. Um, so... I don't really need to know. I do vent a bit of it though. Uh, just whenever someone goes through this uh, this checkpoint. Now that we've got the suits though, thinking of, we can hook this up. Let's get that done. And we will have our airlock. We'll vent a tiny bit of O2 every now and then, but mostly it'll be CO2 being pumped back out. Some people are like, oh, I'm so bored. Can I go outside now? It's my turn. You've just had your turn. <gasps> Scoundrel you. Such a scallywag. Right. With that, we can now safely deconstruct these. Of course, to deconstruct the ones down here, I'm going to have to build up, but that's fine. Got ladders all over the place anyway. I do apologize for the state of my base. Again, I'm, I'm... I wouldn't necessarily say I'm new to the game, but I'm certainly not particularly practiced at it yet. Ah, if only we'd had suits way back when. Is the water just not being cooled? Oh, it doesn't need to be any cooling. Okay, fair enough. We've reached a sort of equilibrium then, I guess. Yeah, it seems that we have. 23.6 going out. 23. 23.1. Yeah, we've re reached a point now that the uh, internal part of my base just barely needs any extra cooling anymore. That is fantastic. The only time we're going to be dumping heat into this loop now is when we use the, uh, the metal refinery. Well, that is very, very nice to see. Exceptionally nice, in fact. Oh, dear. Uh. Alright. Disable the building. Problem is, these are not... They're not building it in the right direction. 
need to finish this work, like right now. How often has Dark Havoc been showing up? Well, I had one cup of coffee, and that has now run out. So, uh, not very much, actually. We're about to get another possible duplicate. Hooray! Right. What do we got? Who we got? Enjoy your seat. We've got someone with a bottomless stomach. Someone who can't do attacking errands, but basically doesn't need to breathe much. Uh, decorating, uh, cooking, suit wearing, but a narcoleptic. So that's a flat out no. Never. Poop. Operating, tidying, doctoring. Oh, we needed someone who wanted to do doctoring, to be honest. So. Alright, let's find out who Joshua is. Who is on the list? Let's find out. The long half. There we go. Let's get you in here, long half. And print. Pump. Well done. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, you're going to be on desk watch, long half. Enjoy your time on desk watch. Now, we need to give you skills. We don't actually have anyone who does any doctoring at all, so that's going to be the first place you put we put your skills. I know we need someone who does digging. We're not going to get them for now. That is, is fairly good. I could probably have um, Tok get into digging. And the same for Big Al, actually. All right. We need it. So, but you're not quite as high in morale. Nevertheless, we can afford to, so... Alright, there you go. Let's have a look at priorities, then. Where is digging? There we are. That'll do. Alright, I want you to do... Doctoring? Well, you can do doctoring. Oh, that's decorating, not doctoring. I was wondering why that was automatically a uh, no. It's pretty much what all I want you to do for now. Focus on that for me. There we go. Okay, now, for those who are wondering, we have been streaming for three and a quarter hours. Each game was going to get four hours, but two moles have been used, so this one will be getting five. So we've got another hour and three quarters before we switch over to uh, to Horizon Zero Dawn, as two moles were used to extend Oni. Thank you very much for everyone who uses the channel points. I know it's a little bit of a lark, but I'm really glad that you're enjoying it. Ah, just chilling out on the base. You know, not got any work to do. It's fine. Shelly's like, ah, I've got to get outside. I need water. And stuff. I'm going to cook things. Things shall be cooked. Can we, perhaps, get these done a little bit faster? I would deeply appreciate it if we could. Where are you going? Where goats number three there. Talk is number two. Okay. I am gonna take a break soon, Lady Sheila. Yep. That is a very good point. I had completely forgotten. I'm gonna gonna be honest. I'd one hundred percent forgotten about taking breaks. <laughs> ah, I'm such a bad human. Ah. Uh. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 don't worry. Uh, disable the building. 
please. For now. You, you, you buy the do Oh no. Oh no! Ah, uh, poop. There has been a fatal error. A fatal error has occurred. The door will automatically open if someone is stood beside it. <sighs> so effectively, I've got a. I mean, this side is fine, but I'm going to have to shift this all over by one. And then over by another two before this airlock is is properly set up. That's frustrating, but uh, if nothing else, I've, I've demonstrated how to set it up. The implementation slightly off, but we'll get that sorted. It's also going to involve me having to move the whole suit dock setup as well. Ugh, man, it's a little bit of a pain that, but. Uh, on to plus side. Would someone please try to go back in and... Oh, okay. Could someone come along and... Oh! <laughs> you got tired, yes. There we go. Thank goodness. And could someone disable this one as well? There we go. That is deeply frustrating, but I'll I'll fix that. Um, if not in this stream, then, then in the next. I actually want to get the power system set up a little bit more than this right now in fact i may no no we will definitely get the the, the suit dock set up because that, that's actually a reasonably uh, important thing to do let's get that done also i'm gonna want another couple of these i'm gonna need more refiber hmm. well i mean Our Dracos, that's it. They're never going to have any more... Um, they will never have any uh, additional fiber, which is a pain. Do I have reed fiber? Let's have a quick look. Seeds. Thimble reed. We do have thimble reeds. Okay. All right. I need to have a quick look at Thimble Reed. Hundred and sixty kilos a cycle, though. Blech. That is excessively annoying. We're okay. We're going to have a single thimble reed growing down here just to try and uh, top off uh, what we've got. Uh, by the way, a thimble reed, um, a single thimble reed plant is a brilliant way. If, you, if you've got so much polluted water, you don't need to recover your grey water. A single thimble reed is a fantastic option. You, If you've got so much like clean water from other sources that you just don't want to worry about the grey water, just have a single thimble reed at the end of of the line or maybe two if you've got a particularly large amount of dupes but your output will just stack up and and feed one or two thimble reeds and it'll be completely consumed eventually you'll get something out of it because you know it, it'll eat it'll consume the the fertilizer that is the polluted water and grow a little bit and then when it runs out it'll just stop growing but it won't die so you can eventually get something out of it even if you're massively underproducing the 160 kilos you need Hey, Avec, are there any planned RimWorld streams? I'm watching Cataclysm on YouTube, and I'm loving it. Uh, actually, there could have been a RimWorld tonight. Yes, uh, Martin. The, the, it lost the vote. It had 33% of the vote versus Oni having 50. But uh, yeah, there, there is absolutely a possibility for a RimWorld stream. It's something I actually discussed in my last RimWorld video, as it happens. 
All right, we're going to be waiting a little bit. Now, I would very much like some suits delivered. Deliver suit. Deliver suit. Deliver suit. Now, realistically, I could just disable the checkpoint. And for now, I will. It's frustrating, but... We need people out there working a little bit more than we need them inside. All right, let's get on the move. Because there's so many jobs for us to do. There's so, so many jobs for us to do. Always more to do. How are we doing for coal? Yikes. That is not a good thing to see. All right, we're going to have to tap into some of the coal veins. Like, as a pretty, pretty high priority, actually. Got some there. Got a little bit there. Are there any other easy, easy bits to reach? It's copper all over the place. I, I do need to grab some of that. There'll probably be a little bit of coal down there, I imagine. Mm, there's loads of copper and coal down here, so that's probably where we're going to get it from. But for now, I'm just going to have to let people head out, on out. Some of them will have suits and be able to breathe. Some of them will not. And we'll have to keep stopping doing their work in order to go somewhere they can breathe. Uh, but that's what we're going to... That's where we're going to be sat for now. There's a coal over here. There was coal over here, actually. And some more copper as well. Might be worth my carving in a route. From here. To about there. There's a little bit of coal down here as well. And go through here. Let's gather up all of that while we're there. And that'll do. This will also expand out our vision in this area a little bit. But I do want to try and get this uh, sorted. I'm going to increase the priority of this work right up to there. We need to get that done rather sharpish so that I don't have to worry over much. Now, if I had a lot of uh, lot of hatch farms and I could I could support them, then this would this would be significantly easier. Uh, it may be worth me doing that, building another hatch hatch ranch down here. And just try to get more and more uh, stone hatches in there. Just so that we can uh, keep that coal flowing. Because whilst we don't have much coal, I do suspect we will have a decent amount of gra yeah, granite, sandstone, igneous rock. We've got hundreds and hundreds of tons of the stuff. Now granted, each hundred tons of this would only give us, I think it's like uh, 50 tons of coal. But still, 50 tons of coal. to bring that across by one. Uh, right. Gonna want plenty of storage. We're just going to be copying this design. Three. One, two, three, four. So that'll be the floor down there. Go. And there we are. Alright, get rid of that, because I only had that one there to just make it a little bit easier for me to isolate where I was going to need the cladding. And just because everything here is just so hot, I will use, um, I, I will insulate it. I will have ca uh, 
insulated cladding around the whole of it. Now that's growing less and less important now that this place is taken care of. It's just that if I need to grow any plants now, I, odds are I'm not going to need it for a hatch ranch. But I'll plan for it anyway, just for the sake of uh, making sure that they've got, that they're safe. So let's pop that one in there. Gonna want this down here. Going to want you and indeed you. Something new that I'm gonna want in there. Something to help reduce duplicate labor. Let's make sure that that gets a nice big old seven there. There we are. So that will, as long as this is kept filled with the right kind of material, igneous rock and sedimentary rock, uh... I mean, at this point, we could fill it with granite if I really wanted to. Or am I actually feeding them? Igneous rock and sedimentary rock. Let's set that up to granite as well. So I'll pop in granite here. Um, now that I've got them, I don't actually need to feed them sedimentary rock anymore. Sedimentary rock just gives them a higher chance of, of giving birth to a new um, stone hatch. But by being a stone hatch, they've got like a 60% chance of, of hatching a stone hatch anyway, so. There we go. Right. Okay. I need to take a break, stretch my legs, get a new drink, and uh, everything else that I should be doing. To, to make sure that, uh, that, you know, I don't break. And I think everyone watching should probably do the same. So, we're going to go on a couple of minute break. It's about that time. I'm going to slow down the game just a wee bit. You know, odds are we're going to watch someone do themselves a mischief. This area should hopefully not result in that, but there's every possibility it will. And if we return to a bunch of people that have stupidly locked themselves somewhere and then suffocated well i mean that's on them really then isn't it i think so yeah <laughs>